And we never really discuss uh, Roblox ever on the show. No. Uh, What is Roblox? Well, Roblox development platform um, with very sort of like blocky style graphics Um, came out in 2006 on Windows, iOS in 2012, Android in 14, and then Xbox One 2015. Considered a game creation system. Uh, you can program games and play games created by other users. And then obviously, it uh, it blew up. Uh, if I know nothing about Minecraft, I, I know less about Roblox. I'll say that. I'm not sure how much you know about Roblox, Ian. Not not much. I know that it's uh, you know popular with kids. Free to play. Like, huh? Free to play, which is big. Free to play. Uh, popular with kids. Um, but some adults really like it, too. Um, it's like I said, a game development platform. You can play other people's levels. You can make your own levels. I'm not sure if there's any side coding you can do, but people have done, you know, a lot of interesting stuff. Um, uh, one of my favorite, uh, game developers. Oh God. Last name Kavanaugh. Uh, um, I believe, uh, used, did a, a thing last year where he like worked on, he's a, popular game developer made stuff like vvvvv dicey dungeons okay. uh he went through and like kind of really checked out the development tools and made like a you know made some levels in a little game so there is a lot of fun stuff you can do in there there are microtransactions uh, and the robux whatever it's called lots of microtransactions yeah, uh, they gotta to make get, money uh yeah uh get you know uh sound effects and uh you know development pieces and uh, widgets essentially i guess that you can use wikipedia says that um, more than half of all American children under 16 are active users. That's a huge number. I don't know if that's true or not. That's what Wikipedia says. I have to check the sources. I feel like uh, that's that's a insane. lot. Because to me, if you told me Minecraft, I would have believed you versus this. But that's that's a lot. Uh, but it says 164 million monthly active users. So that's a huge game. Yeah, I, I'm crazy. surprised by that number, but I'll I'll trust it as of August of last year. So why do we bring fr- so why oh, do we yeah, bring well, up Roblox? Are we are, are we pivoting to being a children's gaming podcast? Not yet. We're not doing that. No. W- one of the things that Roblox is famous for is the character death sound. It's an oof sound. It's a, a child's voice recorded. It goes oof. When yep. you die in the game, that's what it says. There's there's memes based upon it. There's videos been made upon uh, about it. And on its surface, it's like, oh, that's cute. It's fine. Why are these idiots talking about this? Why are we talking about this, Ian? Well, because the sound effect is being removed from the game, and we can all point the blame at a Mr. Tommy Tallarico. Um, So basically, there was, uh, and, and we can get a little bit more into the info, uh, Roblox, basically, so Tommy Tallarico uh, owns the right to the oof sound biggest uh, air quotes you can possibly have so tommy yes. Tarico studios worked on this pc game called messiah that came out around what, 2000 or so um he hired someone named jury joey curis who actually did the sound design on the game so this this person the sound engineer joey uh likely recorded this sound put it in the game but since tommy Tarico studios hired him the rights to the sound would go back to the company that hired. That's how. That's how these, when you when you hire someone to make art for you and pay them. That's usually how these agreements work. It goes back to the original person that paid and hired the person to make them. They own the rights to that. Right. So Tommy Tallarico Studios is the reason why Mr. Tallarico can own stuff like a Guinness uh, World Records uh, little fucking plaque that he paid for that says I worked on the most games ever out of someone. Because if you look at Tommy Tallarico Studios. It's a huge amount, dozens and dozens and dozens of games under that moniker, which is the company that he he runs, ran, still runs, where he may not necessarily have worked on the games directly, but hired others to do it, like in this case. Right. So, so that's he didn't the do anything, but people hired under him did it and made the sound effects. And the sound effects that go into the games are the ones he's saying. Or the soundtrack, just. yes even though he didn't do a, a damn thing. So he this so accepted this accepted money for licenses essentially. So, so this originally uh became a kerfuffle between uh Roblox and uh Tommy back in early 2020. Um they had a developer post 
that happened at the time. And the reason we never talked about this before is that we did not think this was germane to the Amico discussion. We thought, well, it's separate, it's interesting, but now that this has happened, I think we can comment on it more. So Roblox said this, you have the poster opening. We want to comment on something that has recently popped up in, in social media surrounding the use of the OOF sound and its claims of its ownership by Tommy Tallarico. Roblox's founders, Eric and David, got the OOF sound along with the, all the original Roblox sounds from a stock sound CD-ROM they purchased of licensed copyright-free sounds, not from an illegal website as Tommy has suggested on social media. So I think Tommy started posting things wildly. I don't have yeah. access to his Twitter anymore, but it, it, in my mind, the way Tommy acts like a child, he probably made made all these accusations went off on social media without even contacting them at first and yeah, so this that would be my guess and this warranted the response we deeply respect the rights of ip holders and we have built our platform over the past 12 plus years based on respecting and honoring creators despite the fact that tommy has no copyright to the oof sound and in response to our requests he has presented us no proof of ownership to it we've nevertheless been working in good faith to reach a fair resolution with him as part of that we have asked tommy to become part of our creative community and we look forward to exploring that opportunity with him, Ferner. So Roblox maintains that um, he has no copyright to it. I have no idea what happened with the CD that they bought. If they, if that person got the rights legally or not, that's a whole other conversation. Right. Uh, but Roblox maintains that they got a stock CD-ROM, which they used to exist. I owned some back in the day. Uh, they would make them for music. And they put them sometimes include them with um, electronic uh, music magazines. And if you remember that, Ian, they'd be like, these are stock sounds that you can use that are copyright free. You can use them for your music. Yeah, and, they and use all sorts of loops and you can basically yeah. put a song together like Legos. You didn't have to write anything. You just found what sounded nice and sequenced it. Correct. And, and they obviously existed or they probably still do, but like now you're downloading them. You can, you could uh, buy them for, for sound effects. Um, so what happened was this. So, they they reached out and made an agreement with Tommy. I believe was later in 2020. Uh, they came. It sounds out. like that. I mean, they were just trying to do it to smooth things over. It doesn't look like they ever needed to do this. I mean, it straight up says he has not proven ownership. Well, here's the thing: the oof sound is obviously in that Messiah game. I don't. I don't think that yes. there's any there's anything that you can argue about that. The the the, the argument is well, first of all, the CD thing is one thing. Like if they bought it from a copyright free CD, uh, then wouldn't Tommy go after the CD, the, the CD producer yeah. and hash that out? Does Tommy, did Tommy make a deal with the CD maker and not realize it at the time? Or did this person really go into Messiah and say, I want that oof sound for a children's sound and then rip it from the game? Is that what they did? Um, so there's questions there. Um, well, I think it, it, it it's it, you can point to the fact that um, Tommy probably saw this as a uh, a gold mine and did I mean this is where he could make the money not going after the CD the CD creator. Um, sure, but I, I talked about it with you uh, uh, last night about copyright law. Pulling back the curtain, sure about it's an extremely gray area with copyright when you have short sound recordings that really have nothing done with it in terms of post-production or processing. Like if you recorded someone saying the word the, right? Yeah. That's not copyrightable. If you, if you record someone just making a, like a, like a, like a, uh, I don't know, a laugh sound like, ah, like, like that, uh, according to the copyright law, that's not necessarily something you can copyright it's a yeah. very short sound recording. So that said, I'm not saying that, Let's let's say okay. Let's let's go down the path of this CD. Let's just say, for the sake of argument, that the CD pulled the Messiah oof sound without Tommy Tallarico Studios' permission. Let's make that case or make that argument. Let's say Tommy mm -hmm. makes that argument. That doesn't necessarily mean still that he owns the copyright to that oof sound. That would have to be hashed out in court. And that's where I come back to that if Tommy thinks. Because he tweeted that, like, this is a huge part of Roblox, uh, a game that has 100 million people per month playing it. If Tommy thinks he was in the right and there was a big payday, he could have easily convinced the copyright lawyer of the same and then take him to court. Right. And that never occurred during this process that we know of. Never occurred. So what's going on here? What happened? 
So, so like you said, Roblox trying to make it right. Like, okay, this is okay. We're going to try to make this right. So they made out some sort of deal where uh, I think it was developers could still use the oof sound, but they had to pay a fee to use it, like part of like a, like a pack, a sound pack. Yeah, the the Tom, and I'm sure he was behind it. The Tommy Tellerico sound pack was what it was called. Was and, that really what uh, it was called? Yes, the Tommy Tellerico sound pack was what it was called. Wow, way way to boost the ego. You you know how many more you would have sold if you just called it the oof sound pack. Yeah. You would have sold a ton of them, right? An egotistical asshole. So along the um, way, so along the way, so uh, there was someone called um, uh, Plasma Node, where they DM with Tommy asking about uh, this. This came out recently from a few years ago. The DMs about what was happening. Uh, so this is all from the DMs they published it. Uh, Hi, all I've been trying. This is Tommy in the DMs. Hi, all I've been trying to do is sell the sound to Roblox so there won't be a problem anymore. They would own the sound. There wouldn't be any more issues, but they they don't want to do that. And they say they owe me nothing. This is where it becomes a problem. To answer your question, if I wanted to, I could claim or take down every single Roblox video and meme on the internet if I wanted, but I don't want to do that. But if Roblox forces me to take them to court, then they would be forcing me to enforce the copyright law as well. Not sure what the heck their problem is. They should just do the right thing and, and pay me and then own the sound forever. Um... Here's a follow-up. The person said, uh, if you don't mind me asking, is there a general range of how much you are seeking in either case for purchasing or for damages? There's some speculation that you're looking for an upwards of 100 plus million USD. Oh I my God. I don't know where that speculation came from. I'm not going to, I'm going to take this person at their word at this DM that they saw that figure somewhere. And was that leaked from Roblox? Uh, based upon Tommy Talrico's ego, I would not put that past him. No, like, I wouldn't put anything uh, past them, but that's, that that's just, that's someone saying something on the internet. Uh, Tommy responded, Roblox can't build their franchise around. He's thinking that the whole game is based upon the oof sound. They can't build their franchise around it. Okay. Uh, they can't build their franchi franchi franchise around something they took without permission. Think of all the millions and millions of dollars of free marketing they've received by everyone making videos and memes for them based around my sign. Okay. So he's, he's always made, he's, he's arguing that they took something without permission. Roblox is going to say, well, no, we bought a copyright free CD back in the mid 2000s right. where we thought we we're in the clear and you have to basically show us that we're not because of that. Uh, that's basically what their lawyers probably would argue that. Obviously, the sound is special. It means something or else the community wouldn't be freaking out by Roblox saying they're going to take it out. It just proves my point even further. And then it concludes with um, they already owe me a ton of damages. That's why it's something about a survey that Roblox put out about, I guess, keeping the oof sound in or not, if it would bother someone. My lawyers have been laughing all week. I don't know if Roblox knows what they are doing. Okay. So I guess when push comes to shove, Tommy never filed filed a, a lawsuit against them to really even force a sort of, sort of like either mediation or some, I don't know, uh, come to the table, come with some sort of agreement, hammer something out. It sounds like that never happened. Yeah. And Roblox said, uh, you know, we, we're not going to do that, but we'll give you probably a cut of this dev pack stuff. So fast forward to now. And Roblox basically comes out and saying, we're, this is going to be gone from the game. Um, and there's no mention of Tommy Tallarico uh, in their Twitter post. And they're basically saying it's coming out of the game and it's gone. So what happened in the past, I don't know, year and a half to two years? Uh, what do you think Ian happened or why do you think this changed course so quickly? I'm going to guess that maybe there was, um, you know, it says it's a licensing issue. Uh, you know, they're removing it from, okay. It created a replacement default sound with launches today. Mm -hmm. I, I'm trying to figure out if the Tommy Tellerico sound pack ever launched. Um, that's what it was going to be called. And I saw that somewhere, but I think what happened is uh, they tried to negotiate with him and he was an incorrigible asshole and didn't want to work with them. It was probably asking way too much and uh, probably wanted them to kiss his ass because he thinks he's special and they got tired of it. And they said, this is not fucking worth it. And they said, no, we're not paying you any money. And uh, because they realized they can live without a sound effect. Yes. They can uh, live without one sound effect that people joked about. It wasn't the entire experience. There isn't millions of people playing Roblox because of the oof sound effect, Tommy. Yes. Uh, already... So they said, no, I, I have a feeling that they could have. But I think at the end of the day, even if they had the money to do it, my guess is that this guy is a piece of shit and they just don't want to work with him. I think that's it. 
they said related to sounds due to a licensing issue. We yes. have removed the oof sound from Roblox and have created a default sound which launches today, which is like a oof. It's like a that we plan to expand our avatar shop with a whole range of both old new sounds and future more to come this and obviously it got big news because it is known for the oof sound that is the thing i knew about the oof sound uh somehow you know i don't know don't know about roblox so i did too it's just not integral to the experience no which people people will move on from it or what's going to happen is this um they're going to easily be a little how to do how do you replace it on your local how do you go into find the death sound and just replace it with the original one and do it that way? That's going to be right. done lickety split, if not already. Yeah, no, absolutely. Replace, you know, replace the wave file or replace the file, whatever it is, the compressed sound file. That'll be figured out easily. Yeah. Um, so it, either the agreement expired, like you said, or if it came out, I'm going to say this. I'm going to I'm going to to guess this is total guessing that Tommy came back to them and demanded more from them in the past months. Yeah, that's what I think happened due to the, his failure, absolute pathetic failure of running in television into the ground yep. and maybe now realizing I don't have money to continue my lavish lifestyle in the future. Yep, I, I think that that's so that's what I was trying to get at earlier is like provided that that pack came out, that would have been about a year ago. I think it did. And yeah, I think it's just it's a year later. Maybe they need to renegotiate stuff. Tommy asks for more. A year or it's, I think it was a year and a half ago because Tommy okay. Tommy did this really strange update video on his channel from November 2020. I think it came out early 2021. Uh, he does this video if you've seen it, showing off his lavish backyard, uh, gaudy as fuck, uh, pool and hot tub, stone hot tub with a, a naked woman statue and a dolphin next to Just it. Absolutely disgusting. None. Of, by the way, oh, none of the decor matches in theme. By the way. No, or in style it's just gaudy uh, bullshit we'll have a dolphin here and then he does it from his backyard uh nice backyard i'm not gonna lie um and then says hey we're working out something and then i think it was early 2000 i believe 21 is when they launched that stuff we know tommy uh, just talks and talks sure. and talks um so i'm gonna be i'm gonna be straight with everyone if 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 the cd that Roblox used to take the sound. If the CD creators did not get permission, I do think Tommy's entitled to something. I do think they owe him something. Sure. I'm not saying a huge amount. I'm not saying he's owed $10 million. I think Tommy is entitled to something. I just don't know what the amount is. That's something you would have to hash out over a, a table and a croissant or in court. Hash that out. Um, I think if you can say that the song is also uh, copyrightable or excuse me the, the the sound is copyrightable and we're talking about a sound that's a quarter of a second long less than half a second like so i think tommy is entitled to something seriously i'm, I'm on tommy's side when it comes to that but again tommy is is such a douchebag he probably talked his way out of easy money along the way yes absolutely because uh, people would rather not use the sound than deal with him like he probably talked his way out of like maybe roblox where i said okay here's a hundred grand go away you know, and he probably said, no, I don't want that. I can get millions and millions. Well, you, you could, Tommy, potentially, but you have to hire a lawyer, have to sit through, uh, you know, depositions and discovery, go through discovery and get to a court case years from now. And you probably didn't even have the stomach or the money to do that, which is fine. But I think he, he probably talked his way out of something. And then in the past months, got desperate because in television is gone. We don't know how Video Games Live is doing. And he has no he has no cash cow anymore. He's got uh, in nothing. his uh, profile on Twitter. It sure does say creator of oof. So there you go. So Tommy, if you really think that take those, take Roblox to court, buddy, nothing's stopping you. But if you get some of that cash, uh, I think you should go back into uh, the Intellivision investors and all those refunds and refunds for all those pre-orders out there. So when I'm rooting for you, Tommy, uh, I'm not doing it just, just to be a nice guy saying, I like you. It's because you fucked over people who deserve that Roblox money. If you get it. That's where it comes back to, unfortunately. So there you have it. That's the story of Tommy Tallarico versus Roblox. And it sounds like unless Tommy files a suit, which I think he would have done it by now if he didn't in the past over two years, uh, two and a half years, I don't think we're going to see this go further. But hey, maybe, maybe, maybe it will. I don't know.